Welcome to Edge Kids. Hi kids, my name's Lisa. I just want to say a big welcome to Edge Kids. Now today you are joining us for week six of our series called Story Time. We've been looking in the New Testament in the Bible. I've got my Bible here. So I've got the Old Testament, which is the first part, the New Testament, the second part. We're looking at the New Testament. And what's amazing is that every story in the Bible, it's incredible, it's interesting and true. But we're just zooming in on a few of those stories to have a closer look. Now, I'm going to do a quick little rewind, quick little recap for you of what the last five weeks what we've talked about. So I'm going to need your help here. One, two, three, four, five. Pretty simple. Five fingers. All right. Ready? One. Everybody say one. Come on. Louder. One. Amazing. We talked about Jesus' birth. We focused on his baptism. Everybody say two. Amazing. Week two, we talked about the miracle of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. That one was pretty cool. Everybody say three. Come on. Three. Awesome. Jesus feeding 5,000 people. That was awesome. Four, we talked about the transformation of the tax collector. Remember, name Zacchaeus, little guy up a tree, totally transformed. I love that. And then last week, week five, everyone say five. Awesome. Jesus cleansing the temple, flipping tables, making space for there to be prayer and worship again. I love that story. Now, a lot of these stories all happen in the gospel books of the Bible. So that's at the start of the New Testament where we've got Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Now, towards the end of these books, we see Jesus be crucified. He's raised from the dead. Then later he ascends to heaven. When Jesus goes, the Holy Spirit comes. The Holy Spirit, he brings power to Jesus followers, which is amazing. So we're going to speak in a little bit more detail about that a little later, but there's some very, very significant events that happen in those times. So I encourage you, keep reading your Bibles, fill in all of these gaps. But that is where today's story comes in. So today's story is about two very regular, ordinary people. Point to yourself. Yeah, point to the people around you. Regular, ordinary people. Now, the first guy, he was a fisherman. Any fishermen? Any of you like fishing? Does anyone here like fishing? I like fishing. This guy, ordinary guy, his name was John. He was just a regular kind of fisherman man. But he learnt from Jesus that he was empowered by the Holy Spirit. So then what we see here is we've got this ordinary guy called John. He's just an ordinary guy, but then he's empowered by the Holy Spirit. Then we have a second guy, ordinary kind of guy named Peter. Funny enough, he was also a fisherman. But You might also remember Peter from another story in the Bible. He was the guy that was so scared. He didn't want anyone to know that he knew Jesus. Does this ring a bell? (laughs) Does this ring a trigger? (laughs) He was the guy that denied Jesus three times before the rooster crowed. He's like, wait a minute. Do you know Jesus? (laughs) No, I don't. Oh, man. Do you know Jesus? No, I don't. (laughs) Do you know Jesus? No, I don't know him. Remember that guy? So Peter, so we've got two ordinary guys. We've got John, everybody say John, Peter, Peter. So Peter and John, ordinary people, but their lives were transformed by Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And that is where today's story happens. So I'm going to need your help here. Are you ready? I need to hear you say story time. Ready? Nice and loud. Ready? One, two, three. Story time, story time, story time, story time, story time. Let's go for it. This is the story of the healing of the lame man found in the Bible in Acts chapter 3. One day, Peter and John went up to the temple to pray. As they got close to the entrance of the temple, along came a crippled man who was being carried on a stretcher. This man had never been able to walk in his whole life. Every day, this man would beg people for money outside the temple. So that's exactly what he did when he saw Peter and John. He begged them for money. Look at us, Peter said to him. The man looked up, expecting to receive some money. But instead, Peter said to him, I have no silver and gold, but what I do have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. Peter helped the man to his feet and suddenly his ankles became strong. His feet became strong. He jumped up, he stood on his feet and he began to walk. But he didn't stop there. He started walking, leaping and praising God for his miracle. 
everyone around them started to recognize that the lame man who had never walked before was the same man who was now dancing and praising God inside the temple with Peter and John. What an incredible miracle. And that is the story of the healing of the lame man. <laughs> I love that story. When I was a kid, one of my favourite songs used to be about that story when it says like, he was walking and leaping and praising God, walking and leaping and praising God. I just love imagining, imagining him being someone that could never walk to then suddenly walking, leaping. I would have been dancing around. I love that story. What an amazing story. You know what? God is so good at transforming lives. He transformed Peter and John's life. He transformed the layman's life. And guess what? He can transform your lives as well. Can you imagine going from never being able to walk to suddenly being able to dance and leap and walk around? What a transformation. God wants to impact your life. Now, maybe you can walk around, but maybe there's some parts of your life that you're saying, God, I need healing. God, I need freedom. God, I need your help. God can help us today. You know what? I would love to pray because I know that the same God that transformed John and Peter's life and the layman's life can transform your life today. So I'm going to pray. Let's close our eyes. God, I just thank you that you are more than able to transform our lives. God, we just lay before you the broken parts of our life. God, the parts that need healing, the parts where we really need your help, God. I just thank you that you are a God who transforms. You are a God who restores. You fix broken things. And God, I just thank you that for every child right now, God, whatever they're facing, God, you just want to tell them that you love them, that you are more than able, God, to see miracles happen in their lives. God, we trust you. We trust you with it all. And God, we just thank you that you are a good, good God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I want to encourage you guys, keep reading your Bibles. That story is from the book of Acts. I encourage you, read the book of Acts. There's so many stories in there, all about miracles that happen like that. So go for it and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>